So let's talk about grips and Hapkido. Uh, in previous videos, I had explained how uh, swordmanship is uh, part of Hapkido's origin from the you know, lineage of the Japanese Jiu Jitsu that Hapkido originated from. So when you look about the, when you think about the sword, when I'm grabbing the sword, it's not a tight um, uh, grip on the sword. It's actually more of my uh, index, my, my, my pinky, my little finger and my index finger stay really loose. So the sword grip is actually kind of like this, right, where I, I grip nice and loose with the sword and when I'm cutting, it's my left hand doing the cutting and my right hand is the guide, right? So it's, it's a very loose grip on the sword. Also, for uh, some of students have asked me about this, with the, with the patch of the, the Korea Hapkido Federation patch, so, you know, some systems of Hapkido do the patch where you can see the grip of the finger, it kind of has this, often referred to as the key finger. That's the concept of gripping within Hapkido. So when I have my partner in a grip, so regardless of how we started, whether it's a, you know, it's a knife hand press or what, or, or what have you, my grip is not this. When I grip this way, pull your hands up, man. right? I lose the grip. But instead, I'm going to use that same key grip, the same sword grip, grab it this way, keep my index finger extended, and from here, it's very hard for her to pull away. Same thing if I was doing, uh, uh, just that naturally, the uh, Wiyangaki, Dikut Wiyangaki, which is the, the chicken grip, the chicken wing grip, see? I have the same key finger grip this way, right? It's very hard for her to break out of it. Think about my reverse wrist grip, see? From here, very hard to break, up, to break out of it from here. But if I'm holding really, really tight, it's so easy for her to break out of it. So that's how grippling uh, plays in in Hapkido. Same thing when we're, if we're grappling. If I simply just have a really, really strong grip, it's, it's a lot easier to maneuver out of this. But that same key grip, right? See, I snug in here into her um, lapel. And now when we're doing techniques, it's a lot easier to maneuver my opponent. So that's where our gripping comes in. So, there's so many things that make up Hapkido as a martial art, and gripping is one of those foundational uh, concepts that I, I need to master in order to get better at this martial art.